Hey everybody, Jack Miazza here, and I wanted to welcome you to the second video to my Planet Zoo YouTube speed build series. This is a collaboration zoo between a bit fat and I, the best collaboration since peanut butter and jelly. Yikes, I will refrain from making shitty jokes again. Uh, I will post a link to our Twitch channels, discords, and Twitters in the description. The goal of this zoo is to make a realistic looking zoo that focuses on the little details such as backstage areas, realistic exhibits, parking. Uh, we decided to go with the Tyaga sandbox so we could have the breathtaking views of the mountains as well as try to keep our animals limited to what we what can survive outside in the Tyaga biome. So if it's animal from the jungle, uh, it probably won't make it in the zoo unless we end up putting it inside a dome or it has shelter through the winter. From the last episode, uh, if you haven't seen the last episode, you should go check it out before this one because you're like, what the heck's going on? But uh, I was designing the entrance to the park, which is a replication of the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. So in this episode, I finished proportioning out the buildings and then I do a little bit of the detailing for the ticket offices, such as finishing the planks for the walls as well as the interior uh, plaster walls. So right here I'm trying to uh, correct the planks distances from the plaster so they don't uh, kind of poke through and or so the plaster doesn't poke through them and it looks unnatural and weird. So here I'm starting to try to uh, size up the windows for the ticket offices. I was like, oh no, these pieces are kind of overlapping the windows, so I was like, what can I do? And I was like, oh, I could probably add some like shutters. So uh, here I'm introducing one of my new favorite pieces that they added since uh, the South American pack. These bamboo, uh, bamboo uh, pipes. They're really useful when it comes to like trying to add like electrical wiring, plumbing, um, you name it. These, these items are just so versatile. Like I'm using them here as a... Uh, at hinges for these uh, shutters that go on the on the uh, on the ticket booth windows. I think it turns out really nice how they look. I really love like the black and wood, and it's just great that those pieces can be colored. So, yeah, copping and dragging them over. So I wanted one of these to be kind of closed, you know, because it's not a fully operational zoo yet. So thought it would be realistic to. Because you never go to a park and all the windows are open. They always got you waiting in line, so that's just the way it is. Here I start doing like the outside molding for the windows. It just, I love this, the black wood. I think this is just like, this is from the base pack. These are like, painted zoo blanks, the, or like the really thin ones. So yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys think about uh, the speed build series. Um, let me know if you like it or don't like it. Uh, if the video's too fast, like there's not really a lot of like input on. Everyone just says like, "Oh, good job" and all this other stuff. But I kind of want to improve my video editing and skills. So if there's anything that I can improve on, uh, that would be great. Uh, I already know I'm not that great at commentating, but I. I've been, I feel like uh, each episode I get a little bit better at trying to fill the void <laughs> with my <laughs> loud mouth, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys just want to drop in the comments or if there's anything you'd like to see in this zoo, like maybe a specific animal you like. I know Jordan's going to want elephants, so if you're listening, Jordan, we're going to put elephants in this zoo, I promise. That here I realized the glass pieces weren't uh, the best. They're they're too little and too skinny, so I decided to opt for going with these larger pieces. Because I'm gonna have to pick the roof up a little bit more to 
uh, accommodate the extra height from trying to squeeze these TVs in. I really wish Frontier would let you edit the TV screens. That would be amazing. So you, we could put our own little ticket prices or something on there. I know in Planet Coaster they had that feature. Here I start trying to size up the roof and how tall I want it and the overhang that's going to be needed. So I'm, I'm using plaster because I, I do plan on going back through these buildings and uh, adding white plaster to the interiors of all the buildings. I think I go like, two, I try to go like two units over on all edges. And then I run into the problem that when I put these plaster walls down that uh, the wood is too tight to them so I gotta like go through and pull out the wood on each edge it's kind of a pain but it wasn't too bad looking back at the speed build the only issue is like having to select all the individual pieces on some pieces of the wall I'm just trying to find the right size length of wood to use Here I'm trying to figure out because I wanted to put a door in here. Um, I think in a later episode, or I decide to go with like a dummy door just to kind of like deceive people that this area actually is used for something. Uh, that might change. I might add some. I want to definitely come back and add some windows to this building. I know the other side has uh, windows in the ceiling. I go through and I do that in a later episode. Things to look forward to in my YouTube videos, you know? But yeah, if you've made it this far, like, thank you for watching. Um, and if uh, you don't mind smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and doing the bell thing. So, you know, whenever I make a new video, uh, you get alerted. That would be great. Uh, and if you want, feel free to share this video with all your other zoo, Planet Zoo fans. I also stream on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 3 p.m. I sometimes even start streaming a little earlier depending on what I'm doing that day, so just keep an eye out. Follow me on Twitch, you yeah. know. I also have uh, Twitter and other things that you can follow me on too if you want to stay in touch. So yeah, here I start working on the roof to the gift shop, which uh, I didn't like that metal steel uh, roofing that they that comes with the game, so I decided to make my own custom one. So that, that's just plaster, and then I use girders, and I kind of measure them out using the, the roof uh, grooves to get the proper distance for them. Kind of tricky at first to kind of get the, the height out like, or not the height, but the distance between the pillar or the girders I think this is about the last part of the video so again thanks for watching I really appreciate your time and hope you have a nice day and looking forward to uploading the next video uh, in a couple days from now so thank you bye